My hospital is one of the have-not hospitals and provides care for a significant number of very poor and vulnerable patients. As a result of being a have-not facility, this hospital is always under pressure to survive in an environment dominated by major corporate-style hospital networks like partners that do not care for the same underserved population and have the ability to generate better reimbursement rates for themselves while racking up huge profits. The Hospital Profit Transparency and Fairness Act has special relevance to Cambridge Health Alliance and our community as in 2013, an attempt was made to close our nationally renowned child psychiatric unit, which provides first-rate care to young children with severe mental illness. And more recently, our dedicated psychiatric emergency service was closed. As you know, children's mental health services are already lacking across the state. And here was a proposal to reduce these services even more. The announcement of this closing sparked an outcry from our community and mental health advocates across the state. After public hearings, the Department of Public Health deemed this service essential to the community. Thankfully, because of some last minute help from our state legislators, we were able to get temporary funding and to keep those services available, and they are available today. This is not the way to plan for essential health services. The legislation before you today, House Bill 979 and Senate Bill 623, are specifically designed to provide long-term support for services like ours that are in danger of being closed by diverting excessive profits from very rich healthcare networks to a special fund for facilities like ours to provide essential services for our communities. Hospitals and CEOs should not get rich from our tax dollars while our families struggle to secure basic services for our children. I urge you to report these bills out of committee and to ensure that committees and communities like mine and the patients that I care for have access to the services they need and deserve. Thank you.